right. Time for day 23. And yes, I know my head's cut off. Of the 24 days of matcha. There we go. 24 is going to be easy to find, luckily. The 23 is salted caramel matcha. I already know that I like this one. I have a whole tin of it. <clears throat> if I had a whole tin, I might have finished it. Um, so, I would like this. They gave me 12 grams of this one. It's very inconsistent. Um, wish there was more consistency. I do prefer this as a latte. As I said, I've had this before. It smells like uh, salted caramel and a little bit of vegetal. Which at first you're like, I'm not sure that's a good combo, but it is. settle for 7.9 grams and there is some chunky bits in here which is a little not cool <clears throat> 165 degree water so you actually want to use like a W or an N, not a circular uh, motion. I do occasionally scrape the bottom uh, in a circular motion just to make sure I got everything, all the edges. If you do this properly, you shouldn't have to do that, but I'm not an expert or great or whatever at this. Basically, rinse off the little bits, put it on the holder. Da, 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 da. So the smell just gets to be sweet um, and vegetal. Like the dry smells like salt, salted caramel and vegetal. This is just vegetal and sweet. Um, the taste, however, salty, sweet caramel, vegetal, and then like a caramel finish. Um, really tasty. I bought a whole thing of it, which I apparently went all the way through. Um, so super like it. Even better as a latte, uh, which I will probably be doing next. Um, it just gives it a more creamy consistency, which when I think caramel, I think creamy consistency. So that's, I guess, why I do that. 